When I first saw The Martian, I didn't spark to it. I was expecting a dark rumination on depression and loneliness, something like Castaway. I wanted to see someone pull themselves out of a dark psychological predicament. Mark Watney spends about five minutes ruminating on depression, and then we were off to the races. That's not the story I was looking for in the theater that day. I wanted a movie that acknowledged that deciding to survive is half the battle. Fast forward a year and a half. I happened to catch a second screening of The Martian, and this time, I loved it. So what changed? Well, me, obviously, but what about me? Well, I think when I watched The Martian the first time, I was in a Chuck Nolan state of mind. I felt stuck in a place that was slowly killing me, making no progress with no clue how to escape. I was surviving, but I wasn't going anywhere. As it turns out, dead-end jobs and deserted islands make for pretty succinct allegories. But by the time I saw The Martian the second time, I was in more of a Mark Watney state of mind. More pointedly, I had decided to self-produce my feature film debut by that point. So suddenly I had a project and a plan. It's not like it's been sunshine and rainbows ever since. I basically just swapped one set of difficulties for another, but at least now I had a goal. And suddenly I felt the value of Mark Watney's story, because deciding that you're going to survive is only half the battle. Figuring out how is just as important. And suddenly I could empathize with Watney something fierce. What I'm trying to say is... I finished my movie. It's done! It is accomplished! <laughs> my business is done! So second service is completely done. 100% in the can. I've already submitted it to a festival. That's how complete the wrap is. Now, as I've been warning for the last couple of months, I can't make it freely available right away because most festivals won't screen a film if it's already available to the public. But after it has a chance to play the festival circuit, I plan to post it right here on this channel for all to see. And I'll be sure to give you a heads up just as soon as I know when that's gonna happen. In the meantime, I plan to return to regular vlogging with a vengeance. Top 10 favorite films of 2016, Alien Isolation Review, another post about scientific inaccuracies, more episodes of Schlock and Awe, a retrospective on the English language films of Paul Verhoeven, an update on my vision for the Animorph series. It's all coming soon, so stay tuned. I figure that's a better way to thank all of you regular subscribers than just posting another video about how I can't express my thanks well enough. Just know that I appreciate you more than words can express, and I hope to reward your faith as soon as possible. Till then, fuck Trump.